There are a lot of websites out here promising to make you guys some money by working some jobs or tasks, but it's kind of difficult to separate the garbage websites from the sites out here that really do pay you guys out well. Clickworker was one of the very first websites that I ever used and joined that actually gave me the confidence that I could actually make good money online. This was several years ago when I first joined the website Clickworker and I started grinding this website doing more and more of these tasks and eventually I was making around like a couple of thousand dollars in a couple of weeks. Now, Clickworker has made some huge changes to their platform and everything looks so much more different than it used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually step you guys through the new and improved process of setting up your Clickworker account, working tax on Clickworker, getting accepted into UHRS, which is a sub platform on Clickworker where you're gonna actually be making the most amount of money on. And then I'm gonna also step you guys through how to get paid on this platform as well. So let's get it. I left a link for you guys in the description of this video if you wanna follow along with me and create your account. And once you click that, it should look something like this on the page, where it's giving you a little bit of an introduction to the Clickworker website. It's telling us, Clickworker is always looking for internet users worldwide who can, for example, create or correct texts, participate in surveys or search, and categorize data for us. So right here, they're just giving us some small examples of tax that we can do for them for a little bit of money. But once we actually sign up and go through this process, I'll show you exactly what kind of tasks that they ask us for on here and exactly how much they pay you guys out as well. So follow along, folks. So they do have a mobile app over here as well, as shown in this section, but we're not gonna go ahead and do this yet. Let's actually sign up on our desktop first so we can get through this setup a lot faster. Go and click the sign up button right there and fill out your information. And after we get our account activated, they're gonna ask us to fill out a bunch of information about ourselves to build out our profile and make sure that we can get paid. Let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing they wanted us to get sorted was our address. And the primary reason why they want this address information is firstly, to be able to recognize that you are truly a individual single person that is signing up to Clickworker and not another duplicate account on this website. And also secondly, Clickworker also needs your address to be able to send out tax information. Because if you are working on Clickworker, and you're making a lot of money with this website, they're gonna need to send you the tax information that you earned in the past year or so, so you can submit that in your tax return. So that's why this address information is important for you to fill out. So if you don't have that filled out and correct already, go ahead and click on that hamburger icon up there, click on contact details, and you should see your information over here, and go ahead and edit your address to make sure you have the right information filled out. Next, let's do our tax and payment information details. This is so we can actually make sure that we get paid. Once we're done with the address, click the hamburger icon again, click on payment details, and start off with your tax information. Go ahead and fill out your social security number over here. And additionally, they might also ask you to fill out a form so that you identify as a independent contractor for Clickworker. If they ask you to do this, just go ahead and fill it out and submit the PDF for them. Then, arguably one of the most important steps on here, payment details. Click on the add now, and what you're gonna do is add your PayPal email to this account, where you're gonna be able to get paid out through PayPal. If you don't have a PayPal account yet either, which I have no idea why you wouldn't have a PayPal account, <laughs> you can also sign up to PayPal using a link I provided down below as well. Next step, folks, this is gonna be filling out your profile information. Please be sure to pay attention here, guys, because if you don't go ahead and fill out this stuff for yourself, there's a very good chance that you might not actually get a lot of jobs populated for you, and you might not be able to make a lot of money on here unless you fill out your profile. So click on the hamburger icon again, click on the profile section, and you should be brought to a page that looks something similar to this over here. You can see our profile progress currently is 20%. We wanna get that number to actually around 80 something percent filled out. So if you can get that profile progress bar up to 80% or as high as possible as you can get, you're gonna set yourself up very well in order to get accepted into a lot of these projects. So just go ahead and fill out all this information about yourself, like give yourself a small bio, 
your degrees that you have, your work history, if you have any projects or blogs you want to show off. In the languages section, this one's going to be super important as well because sometimes they have translation tasks over here. So if you have any other proficiencies in languages, make sure to select them over here. Skills. Also, fairly important for you to fill out. Do you have any of these copywriting skills? If so, let them know. Because chances are, you'll be a much better candidate than a lot of the other people on this platform that don't have these copywriting skills, and you're going to be suggested to complete those jobs above them. The hobbies and know-how section. Personally, I'm pretty sure this section doesn't matter that much, but hey, it only takes like 20 seconds to fill out anyway. So why not just tell them? Mmm... <laughs> What kind of hobbies they got down over here? Adult content. Hmm. I'm going to say that's a know-how for me. <laughs> Make sure to follow my OnlyFans account, guys. <laughs> so once you finally get all of that stuff sorted, we're on the Clickworker website, and we can see all the different kinds of jobs over here that we can accomplish for some money. But let me help you understand the format of this website so you can digest it a lot easier. So this main section up here is going to be your recommended page, where it's going to be a bunch of the recommended stuff that they want you to do. Sometimes these can be good projects, but for now, we're going to ignore it and move on to our other sections. So our available jobs are just jobs that Clickworker has for us to accomplish directly from Clickworker. And there are usually quite a bunch of these to do over here, which is really cool. A lot of money to be made here. Scroll back up. We can collapse this available job section and actually see the partner platforms. So Clickworker actually lists these other platforms on here that you can make money with that Clickworker actually integrates with. So you can see that Clickworker actually integrates with both UHRS and Peanut Labs. With my honest experience, okay, like I mentioned earlier, UHRS is going to be where you actually make a bunch of money on with Clickworker. And it's how I personally made my hundreds and thousands of dollars whenever I worked with Clickworker and UHRS. Peanut Labs, however, <laughs> Peanut Labs is definitely not something I would personally recommend. Usually the surveys on Peanut Labs do not pay as much and sometimes you even get disqualified from the surveys that you take on Peanut Labs. So you'll end up doing all this work for them with no results because you get disqualified. So sometimes it gets pretty frustrating. But UHRS, however, we're going to be talking a little bit more about that later in the video so you can really amp up your earning potential. But for now, so let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the parts of Clickworker. So we can collapse this partner platform section as well and see the app jobs that we can actually do. And these are the jobs that we can do on our phones. We can't do them on desktop where I am right now. I actually need to download the phone app first. And we're going to be going through these tasks as well in just a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do one of these jobs out here that Clickworker has on their platform naturally. So I can see a bunch of jobs that are start with evaluate search ranking. So the premise of these tasks is typically going to be like... They're going to give us a phrase to Google search or like Bing search or something. And we have to see where a certain page ranks within the search results. Like what page does it land on and what are the other pages around it? Stuff like that. I don't know why I'm explaining it though. They can explain it inside of the task too. <laughs> so for example, I can check out evaluate search ranking for men's dress shoes. I click on the details section and start now. So the specific task they wanted to do is open a new incognito tab, go to google.com, search up men's dress shoes and find the website just men's shoes and type in the numeric value for the Google page that we're on. So yeah, pretty much exactly what I said. They want to see where they rank on Google search. And not only that, the way that these other people and these other companies like JustMenShoes.com profit from giving you guys this kind of money is because they'll also ask you to click on their link, which will improve their SEO, which will improve their score ranking in Google. This is some advanced information that you guys don't necessarily need to know, but I think it's important for you guys to understand exactly what kind of value that you're giving to them over here. So for example, let's go ahead and just step through this project right now. Let's do it. So let's go to an incognito tab, google.com. We want to search up men's dress shoes. And the website we're supposed to find is justmenshoes.com. So let's scroll. It's not on this page, I think. Okay, there's an ad for Just Men's Shoes, but we're not supposed to click on the ads. So we're going to keep going. Next page. 
And a trick we can do is control F the page and type in the website, just men, men shoes. And it looks like it's not on this page either. So we're going to keep going. Third page. Oh my God. Finally, I found it on page 12. Just men's shoes for men's blue dress shoes. So what are the instructions they want again? Copy the Google URL for the results page. You are on where you found the quest domain from step four. Okay. But first I want to tell them the Google page that we're on. We're on page 12. We'll type that in. Click on that link. Copy this URL. Go ahead and give them that. Then give them the Google position, which is counting down from the top of the non-ad results in the Google to the position that the requested domain was in as a number. So what they mean is go back to the Google search results and what number are they on this page? So they're not the first, not the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are number 10 off the very bottom of this list. So that's 10. Oh, actually, <laughs> I didn't read these instructions very carefully. I was only supposed to click on the search results afterwards. So this research URL is actually supposed to be like this. And the Google URL is the one that is right here at the top of the page like that. The literal Google URL of the page. There you go. That's what that is right over there. So once we're done with that, we can go ahead and save and fantastic. We just made like 32 cents over here. Now that might sound like only a little bit of money, but the great thing about this is that a lot of these tasks are things that you can do repetitively over and over. And this is stuff that doesn't take that much time at all to complete. This task in particular did take a little bit of time because the search result was further down in the Google search results. So I typically wouldn't recommend this specific project, but there are so many other projects that are much, much faster to complete and pay comparable or even higher amounts of money, especially on UHRS, which is something I'm going to get to very soon in this video. So I mentioned earlier that I was going to explain why that there are people out here that are willing to pay you to search up these phrases and visit these websites. Well, to put it simply, for that shoe example, you're giving value to that shoe website, Just Men Shoes or whatever it was called. The value that you're giving to that company and the reason why they're willing to pay you out to complete that task is because not only are you giving them that information of where their page shows up for the keyword search of men's dress shoes or whatever the search thing was, you're also clicking on the page inside of Google. And what that actually tells Google is it tells Google that this website, this page right here is actually very relevant to this search result. And so simply you clicking on this website and a bunch of other people clicking on it as well inside of ClickWorker is going to help boost their rankings within Google and give them more business. So I hope that exchange makes a little bit more sense to you guys. And I hope that gives you guys more context about why exactly you're doing some of these jobs over here. But of course, not all the jobs are going to be specifically to help improve a page's SEO and page search ranking inside of Google. Sometimes these jobs are simply to help improve artificial intelligence by helping label some stuff. Let's do another simple example. But for this time, instead, we're going to do the search. We're going to do the keyword of Los Angeles web design. So we search it up and the page we're looking for is coalition technologies control f to search up coalition technologies holy moly wait hold on a second they're literally second place over here on the first page that's fantastic so this one was super fast the google url remember it's just this thing right here at the top Google page number one, Google position is number two, right? And then the research URL, we'll go ahead and click on that, copy that in and paste that in. Fantastic. And we save that. Easy peasy money, folks. So guys, I wasn't going to do any more of these evaluate search ranking jobs because I think you guys get the gist of it. But <laughs> I was scrolling through and I found this very interesting one over here that I was kind of curious about. It's evaluate search ranking for realistic penis extension and realistic penis sleeve. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing, guys. I kind of want to know what it is now. I'm assuming these two are from the same company. So let's just let's just do one of them. Oh, boy. I'm probably going to have to censor this for YouTube, though. <laughs> OK, let's let's try it out. So similar to what we were doing before, search up this key phrase. But instead, this time it is realistic penis extension. So 
incognito tab. And thank goodness I'm doing this in an incognito tab this time. And we are looking for rxsleeve.com. Oh, check it out. It's another easy one. It's literally right there on the on the first page. First page, but one, two, three, four. They're the fourth results here. So let's give them the Google URL. First page, fourth position. Let's go. We're going to click on the page, okay? We're going to click on the page. We we'll must up the energy to click on the page. Okay. This is going to be censored, okay? Oh, wait a second. It's just everything looks normal, okay? Okay. They're not showing the actual product. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's just it's it's kind of like a strap, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. These things cost 400 to like $600, guys. Good on you. Good business you got there, guys. Fantastic. Got paid some money just to look at some dicks. Wonderful. All right, so next up, I want to talk about using ClickWorker on your phone to make some money. Let's go ahead and whip out our phones over here. And what we're going to want to do is open up the Play Store or the App Store on your phone and search up ClickWorker. You're going to see screenshots for the page looking something similar to this. This is what you're going to want to download on your phone. So unfortunately, ClickWorker prevents me from actually recording my phone screen on here. Everything I record just shows up black. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to give you a general gist of what's going on over here. The main difference here, while everything's looking the same, and you can complete some of the jobs that we just completed earlier, you're also going to be able to do the jobs that were only restricted to the phone application. So for example, this task over here asks you to record yourself pronouncing one short phrase as a male. So if you're male, all they're asking for you to do is read out this certain phrase and record yourself doing it so you can pronounce it. And like I mentioned earlier, some of these jobs are out here trying to help train their AI. So you giving your pronunciation to ClickWorker will help improve some certain AI to help see how different people pronounce a certain phrase. This one over here is show us the size of your car tire. I'm assuming it's pretty much just having us take a photo of our car and our car tire. Not entirely sure what benefit there is over there for the company, but hey, they're paying us to do it, so why not? <laughs> so the general summary of being able to use ClickWorker on your phone is that it's a great way to do ClickWorker work while you're on the go. Like for example, you're out and about and you're just bored outside and you wanna make some extra money. And also, there are tasks that usually require access to either your microphone or your camera so you can record some certain audio or take some photos or video. All right, now I wanna talk about our last way that we're gonna make money on here and arguably it's probably our most important way to actually make money, working with UHRS. I've been saying this phrase UHRS a lot and I haven't really explained what it is and now it's finally time for me to do so. Finally, right? <laughs> so like I mentioned earlier, UHRS is actually a partner platform that ClickWorker works with and is integrated with so that you can work on UHRS and actually get paid out through ClickWorker. So you can access UHRS, this platform that has a bunch of jobs and other tasks on there that pay out quite high, but you access it through ClickWorker and you also get paid through ClickWorker as well. UHRS actually stands for Universal Human Relevance System and it's created by Microsoft in order to help train a bunch of their AI and a lot of the technology that they're working on developing. So for example, on UHRS, some of the jobs on here involve you getting some kind of Bing search result based on a certain phrase or keyword that's typed into Bing. It's gonna show you some results and UHRS is gonna ask you, hey, is this search result relevant to what was actually searched in in the first place? Yes or no? And you give them the answer and they'll give you some money for answering that. And the great thing about UHRS is that because it is Microsoft and because Microsoft has a ton of money that they can use to invest into training their AI and developing out these platforms, a lot of that money ends up going to people like you and me to help give them that valuable data. That's why working on UHRS through ClickWorker is such a killer way to make some money online. So how do we actually sign up to be a part of UHRS while we're inside of ClickWorker? Well, we're back on the main page and we can scroll all the way down to the point of where we see the partner platforms and you can see that you can click here for more tasks on UHRS. If we click on this, 
details section, we can start actually applying to work on UHRS through here. Unfortunately, there's actually a whole NDA that I have to sign in order to work on UHRS with Clickworker. So I can't show you the exact details of what's going on behind the scenes. But what I can tell you is that it is kind of similarly looking to Clickworker itself. But the great thing about UHRS is that it's gonna be so much easier for you to routinely do these tasks repetitively over and over and over. So you can rack up some good money. Right after you complete working one task, it actually moves you on to working the next task in that same exact sequence so you can make some more money. That might sound a little confusing to you guys, but in summary, it's pretty much making it much simpler for you to go from task to task without any downtime which will end up giving you guys a lot more profit inside of your PayPal. All right, folks, last thing I actually want to talk about is payment, all right? How do you get that money that you earned in ClickWorker actually into your hands, right? Well, typically, you're going to be able to see a balance on directly on ClickWorker at the very top right of the page, like, for example, right here. And also, you're going to be able to see a similar page within UHRS that will tell you how much you've earned as well. And the whole gist of it is, is that if you have gone over here, you've gone to the payment details, you filled out your information for your social security number, your tax information, whatever you need there, and you inputted a correct PayPal email to get paid inside of your payment details, you'll get paid out by ClickWorker every two weeks. So you're gonna be able to work with ClickWorker for about two weeks, and after that two weeks is done, they'll pay you out for that previous week that you just worked. You don't have to request a payment out or anything. They'll do it for you automatically and you'll see that money inside of your PayPal account. Folks, if you guys appreciate this video and you guys think that I gave you any kind of value inside of this video, I would definitely appreciate a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can definitely hit the subscribe button down below too. I'll be honest, folks. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pump out these videos. And I've been slacking for a really long time. <laughs> but every time I see encouraging comments down below, it actually incredibly raises my spirits. So thank you guys so much for those comments. It makes my journey so much more worth it, knowing that I'm actually giving true value to people out here inside of my community. Let's get out here and find people that we can build with, not just chill with. And with that said, my name's Ted, and let's get this bread.